We just jailbroke it. So uh, this is the message, or the, the screen that you'll see when you first get the uh, Apple TV connected. Here is the main menu, Green Poison, click Inject Software, City of Payload, your only option is click the button in the middle of the remote to select. Uh, you've probably used your Apple TV already if you're watching this video. so. Connecting. So here we have the Apple TV with Neato TV installed. To get XBMC on it, I know a lot of people are still going the command line route. You don't have to do that anymore. Neato TV allows you to install City of Packages. So just go over to Neato TV, click Menu. Uh, I'm sorry, not Menu. Select or Enter to select the install software. And here you see our software packages. I'm just going to go with uh, XBMC for Apple TV 2 right now. Alright, so it looks like our XBMC install is nearly complete. You got a soft reset of the Apple TV and there's XBMC. So boom, there we go, Apple TV 2 running XBMC. All said and done, it's like 10 minutes of time from when I opened up the Apple TV and started the green poison process to having XBMC running on the Apple TV too and nothing fancy didn't have to SSH or terminal into the Apple TV at all it was all GUI based nice usable interface and for Windows uh, there's a lot of guides out there on how to do it on Mac so check those out next video I'm going to show you a couple things some people ask in the comments one of my other videos is how I got the experience which is the Xbox 360 look-alike skin for the XBMC working on the Apple TV 2 I didn't have to do anything fancy so that should be a pretty short video